Hey guys, what's up, Zyflin here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tiburon Prime, as well as basically like all the different firing modes for it, because it actually has multiple different firing modes, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, if I go ahead and press my middle mouse button, you can see that I can actually go ahead and swap through all of them, so we have fully auto, which is just holding down the trigger, will make the bullets come out of the gun, we can go ahead and reload, we have our burst fire, which is free run burst, for every click of the mouse and then we have our semi-auto which is like one bullet per click okay pretty straightforward um pretty awesome weapon not gonna lie um i think that the burst fire is probably the best firing mode for it auto is pretty good for taking down shielded targets where semi is just kind of like oh i'm gonna one hit this guy anyway so i might as well just have it in semi-auto and uh, be a show off of how good I am at aiming and hit all the headshots and stuff like that but um burst fire is probably going to be the mode that you want to use to get the most consistent damage but um yeah let's go ahead and take a look at the builds uh from the get-go so my first build my config a is my um hunter munitions and viral combo so we have my dual stat elemental mods so malignant force and rhyme rounds and that's going to increase my status chance and this build is more about killing really high level enemies in less shots, where config B is more about DPS, like dealing high numbers and killing an enemy, enemy like really fast. I don't know why I'm struggling to say enemy, but you get what I'm trying to say. So with config A, it's going to take us less bullets to kill the enemy because we're going to have our... Um, our bleed procs being applied because we have high crit and hunt munitions is going to apply those slash procs to the enemies because of our or how much we're critting and then we also have our viral procs on top of that which is going to be applied to the enemy 66.8 percent of the time right pretty straightforward of course these numbers change up based off what firing mode you're in so semi-auto your status chance actually decreases but your crit chance goes up and then we have our full auto where your status chance is super high but your crit chance is rather low so it's kind of up to you which type of firing mode you want to use and it also kind of depends on the type of content that you're going up against but obviously um it'll become clear whenever i start killing the enemy so we're going to be killing the level 110 uh heavy gunners and the reason i test against level 110 is because that's like the highest level enemy that you're going to come up against doing like your daily content in the game so your sorties and stuff like that so it's more realistic than oh level 150 because unless you're going out of your way to go up against level 150 enemies you're not going to be coming across them right so level 110 is kind of like the top tier enemy that we're going to be going up against right so let's just go ahead and spawn in one we're going to go ahead and pause his ai there's a common misconception that um, you get stealth multipliers versus a paused enemy. That's only with your melee. Um, if you're using a rifle, it, uh, it's fine. So let's go ahead and use the burst fire first. And this is the hunter munitions build. And you'll see within about two bursts, this guy is going to just die. Okay. So there's one burst and there's two bursts. And you'll see that his health just kind of keeps on going down. So it's, it's going to... Well... Okay, prove me wrong, why not? Okay, let's go again. Are you going to die this time? What? What? Hello? What? You, you going to die this time? What the fuck is that? Why, why is he getting his health back? What the fuck? Okay, there we go. That was weird. He just got his health back. What? Okay. It's because... Uh, I'm gonna assume that's because Viral is like half of his health. Or not half of his health, but reducing his health. I was like, what? Yeah, I'm using the right build. Let's, let's go ahead and try again. So, spawn him in and he should die within like two or three bursts on the head. Let's see. Okay, there we go. That, that made more sense. Like, what? Okay. I was like, what's happening here? Like, what? Okay, so two bursts in the head with the uh, viral 100 munitions build. So weird, man. So weird. This is this is like. There you go. You just have to keep on firing into the guy's head. Obviously, you can kill him a lot faster if you do. You just keep on like, you know, shooting his head. The numbers are gonna be lower because you're not like, you know, using the correct element against him because you're using your viral damage and you're relying on your viral procs to kill him. Then you know. 
your numbers aren't going to be as high, especially if you're, you know, using full auto like this. You're going to see that you're dealing like lower numbers, like we're only dealing 571 per crit or whatever, but he's dying super fast because of the slash procs and those viral procs that we're applying. So it's, you know, just a really good weapon. I keep on saying, you know, and I don't know why it's because I haven't made a video like this in such a long time. It's super weird, but you're going to notice the difference whenever we jump to the config B, like this guy is going to die a hell of a lot faster, especially with the burst fire. So just, just check, check out the amount of damage we deal. Okay, so he, he's he's dead. We deal significantly higher numbers, so we're dealing 2,000 damage per shot there. So if you're just going to be generally playing through like content in the game, running that Crucible build, A-OK. -okay. If you're going to be going up against super high level enemies, using the um, the Hunter Munitions build would probably be the better option. So we're going to go ahead and run full auto versus this guy and uh, just lay into him. And you see that he dies super fast. And that's because we're pairing the fact that we're stripping away the enemy's armor with hunter munitions. And as we're stripping away the enemy's armor, we're dealing higher numbers. And because we're dealing higher numbers, then the enemy has less health. And because the guy is also bleeding, he's going to die. And yada, yada, yada. So they just die super quick. So let's also go ahead and test out the semi-auto. And you'll see how painfully slow, painfully painful it is to use the semi-auto in both, uh, or with both builds. So let's go ahead and use semi-auto, spot in the heavy gunner, dash forward, and then you'll notice like, he dies a lot slower. Okay, he dies pretty fast though, but that's besides the point. It's, it's, you're better off using the burst fire to apply your status effects quickly, shoot, pull the trigger, and then move on to the next target, that type of thing. So yeah, let's go ahead and use the Carusa build, like so. Config B, semi-auto, spawn the guy in, simulate, go towards him, like so. Stay still, Zephyr. And then you see that our numbers just gradually go up and the guy's dead. So it's kind of down to what you use. Um, or what, what you're down to use. And I just... Okay. Let's go back over here. Here we go. Okay. We kind of overshot that a little bit. But <laughs> we made it. We made it. It's it's down to what you want to use. Like, it's a weapon of choice. Like, you can use full auto. You can use burst fire. You can use semi-auto. It's down to what you want to use. It's just one of those weapons where... Like, if you like the Soma, you're going to like this weapon. If you like the Latron, you're going to like this weapon. If you like the Burst on... You're going to like this weapon. It's just one of those weapons where you get to choose what you want to do. And it's great. And it's fun. And it's cool. And that's pretty much all there is to it. In terms of the builds, what I generally recommend is always build this for crit. You can, if you're a newer player and you don't have 100 munitions, replace 100 munitions for heavy caliber. That way you're going to be getting more damage, but you're going to be less accurate, which means you're going to be hitting less consistent headshots, which means you're going to be missing out in eight times more damage. But for every bullet that you do hit a headshot with, you're going to be dealing like super high numbers. So if you don't have 100 munitions, run heavy caliber. But as soon as you get 100 munitions, put 100 munitions on and it's going to make your assault rifles across the board far more competitive whenever it comes to, you know, comparing it to like a shotgun or something like because shotguns are kind of king in the game right now. Unless you're using a side crit melee in that case, then side crit melees are the best thing ever. And you're better off just using those. But whenever it comes down to it, like generally your build will look like this. So we go ahead, go into our V's, point strike, and then we have our split chamber. We have our vital sense. We'll have our serration. We'll have our hunter munitions. And then we'll have our two slots for our elements, of which with this build, because I have four form on, I have my um, my five V polarities right here. So this is going to allow me to throw on all my V, uh, v polarity mods. Then I have two dashes in case I want to run the 90%. But uh, because I have the five Vs, then I can also run my dual stat elementals on these as well. And um, yeah, so you would run on your elements now. So let's say, let's just say we're going to be modding versus a, uh, a bombard. So we'd run our radiation damage back out of this, go back in. We'd have a radiation damage and then you have one final slot here to run whatever you want. Some people might opt to use shred or prime shred, which is definitely okay. So let's go ahead and uh, run prime shred here. Where's it at? 
prime strat easy let's go over here spawn in we'll spawn in two bombards bombards we'll get two of these guys simulate go ahead dash over to them and then that's going to allow your uh it's going to hit both of them at the one time gonna kill them rather fast easy peasy great awesome builds okay go back the way ah keep on overshooting fix this effort no there we go okay i finally did it sweet good done and dusted sweet and then we have our um we have our beam mods which is going to obviously multiply our damage across enemies across the board in said faction that we're modding against so let's just go ahead and kill these guys and you'll see that we kill these guys rather quickly because of that prime beam mods that die super fast it's great prime beam mods are awesome so in order it's going to be your prime beam mod shred is obviously optional so shred you're not going to get an increase to your damage but in terms of damage dealing so it would be your prime beam mod and then we'd have our bladed rounds so here we are bladed rounds we're going to go ahead and spawn in a single butcher or butcher 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 I don't know whatever you want to call it over here get this little guy we're gonna kill him and then we get our bonus gonna deal a considerable amount of damage to these guys and they're gonna die which is great awesome fan dabby doozy we're gonna jump up the way and we're gonna land on the thing Zephyr's passive is so annoying <laughs> it just ruins the flow we have our argon scope which is going to give you more uh consistent crits once you hit a headshot so let's go ahead and uh do the exact same thing we'll kill our little guy and then we'll have our more consistent crit chance because we have our argon scope on there we get orange crits which is very cool the guys die super quickly awesome nope i didn't hit x in time what up uh, okay there we go most of this video is me just derping with zephyr and that's okay that's fine if you don't have either a uh, prime beam mod blade it runs or argon scope you want to go ahead and run a third element so we'd be running with this build let's say we'd run well, let's go ahead and swap it up a little bit. And we run our Crucive plus our Fire. And then if we spawn in our two Heavy Gunners. So we go ahead and get this guy. And we spawn in two of them. Simulate. Go over this guy. Whoop. Jump over here. Shit this guy. You know, that way you'd be doing considerable amount of damage. You don't even have to have any of those fancy mods or whatever. And if for some godforsaken reason you don't have... Um, you don't have what's it called you don't have a third element you can run hammer shot never run hammer shot you're gonna you're gonna have a third element trust me in this one you're gonna have a third element or you can also run that other multi-shot mod it's called vigilante armaments i think i don't think i have it actually feels bad man i don't have it i don't have it vigilante i do have it there we go so you can run that you can run this and this gives you more multi-shot it's pretty fun too let's go ahead and spawn in these guys it's awesome don't know how this uh like in terms of dps wise don't know how that pairs up to what i was just after showing you prime beam mods um are usually just like my go-to but this is going to make it so that you're you're dealing a decent amount of damage here so yeah it's all right still prefer my prime beam mods though prime beam mods just kind of kills them quicker so that's a thing it's cool but uh other than that that's the tiburon prime tiburon prime is pretty dope pick it up get it super fun it's cool it's awesome you can go into your codex uh go to the relics page type in tiburon prime in the top left hand corner and it's going to show you all the relics that you need to farm it um if you want to get lift relics go to orc in there like defense if you want to get meso relics io and jupiter and for neo and axi relics zedia on eris so pretty straightforward go ahead play those missions get your relics farm up your tiburon prime play with it cop in my builds do your stuff and uh yeah Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead, hit that like button below. If you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.